this video I'm going to show you how to combine data from one source. So here I've got a little bit of questionnaire data with participant ID and uh, sex with performance data for um, the same participants. So I can, so the, so the first easy thing we can do is we can pivot all of this data using a pivot table uh, to look at the sum of correct information like, like this. So um, if you're not sure how to use pivot tables, you select all the data, you go insert pivot table, choose, and then I can pull out the participant ID down here and I could pull out the correct score here. And you can see that gives me the same that I have over here. But I can't easily combine uh, the demographic data in here. So let me show you how I would go about doing that. Let me delete that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take a copy of this data. You wouldn't usually take a copy, but just for simplicity, that's what I'm going to do. So here is our performance data. And now what I want to do is add in the sex information here. And we do this using two formulae in Excel called index and match. So you go index and this here, this is the um, the array um, of, that I want to look up against. So in this case, I want to go to demographics and I want to get uh, this list. So um, I'll talk you through it in a minute. So we want, first of all, we want that array and I want it locked because I don't want that to move. Actually, that hasn't locked both of them, which is annoying. Uh, you do that by pressing F4. And then I want to match, I want to match this value in this list. I want an exact match. So what that's saying is in the match bit is look up the participant ID in the list of participant IDs here and match it exactly. And then the index part is, is saying in this array here, look up that participant ID and return to me the, um, the sex written next to it. And so now I have that, and now I can copy and paste that all the way down to the end as well. So now you can see I've got the sets all the way through this document. And now I can do that pivot table again. Insert pivot table. And now I can pull out the participant ID here. I can pull out whether they got it correct or not here. But now what I can also do is I could split that by sex like that. So we can see that uh, let's do rather than the sum of correct, let's do the average of correct. There you go. And we can see that on this task and not a particularly good sample, but that women performed better than men. Um, yeah, so the key bit here to take away is using index and match to do this lookup.